Hey guys, uh, Gimp Joey here, and today I'm gonna teach you how to make uh, uh, a glossy text in Gimp, and it's gonna turn out looking something like this. Uh, it doesn't take too long. It's um, I wouldn't say intermediate. I would say between easy and, and, inter and intermediate. Um, give me a second. Sorry. Sorry about that. Uh, yeah, it's gonna turn out like this. And um, okay, so let's get started. So we are going to make a new image, any size really that works. Um, oh, and uh, the background. It doesn't re really matter what color. I screwed up because I didn't have this set up. But we are going to go to the blend or gradient tool, and we're gonna switch um, the, the gradient. If if you have to make sure that black that black and white that, that it's gonna be white to, to black. If it's black to white, you can just click on this check mark and it'll reverse it. And the shape is you're gonna switch it from linear to radial. Then you're gonna hold control and oh well, actually no that that, is, that doesn't really matter. You're just gonna drag from the center until any side. And we're gonna get a gray background like this. Next, we are going to create a text le letter, uh, text layer, and it can be any font. I chose Sans Bold. I re really like that font. And we're just going to make big, basically to take up um, the entire uh, like width of the image, even just a little bit of the side, and center it. Try to get the box as close to the actual text as possible to make it look better in, in the end. And we are going to take this, the alignment tool. We're going to click on the layer, align from, to the middle in both uh, dimensions. And then we are going to uh, duplicate the text layer. Uh, let's get off this tool, it's bothering me. <laughs> uh, right click on the bottom layer. No, that's not yet. Okay, we're going to filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and we are going to blur it by one. No, I mean before that, we're going to, sorry, we're going to right click, I'll put the selection, select grow by two, then we're just going to fill this in by, with black, or I'm just going to color it in, whatever. Because it's just easier for me like that, okay? Then we're going to select none. Uh, you can just press select none or you can press shift control A. So we're going to go filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and this time we're going to blur it by one. There we go. Then on the top layer, we're actually going to duplicate that. And uh, on the bottom layer, we're going to write, we're actually going to change this to white. So let's go ahead and change it to white. And we're gonna, you're not gonna see it now, but then we're gonna blur that by two. This didn't turn white, did it? Oh, uh, sorry about that. Sorry if you guys hear, sorry if you guys hear somebody in the background. Uh, that's just nothing. <laughs> so, here, what the? Okay, there. Now we're gonna change it to white. And you can see it's white. Then we're gonna blur it by two. Whoa, that was fail. I just minimized it. Then we're going to blur it by two. There we go. Then on the top layer, we're going to change this. No, first we're going to right click, alpha to selection, select shrink by um, one. Then we're going to delete the, in uh, then we're going to press control I to shift the selection. And you're going to press delete on Mac, FN delete. And then, then, gonna make it red so uh, I, we actually should have changed it from the text tool before but I guess not so the other way is to alpha to selection take your paint, paintbrush tool choose the color I'm using FF0000 the very basic color of red and just fill it in with the red like that very plain next we're gonna make a new layer possibly our final yeah our, fi our final layer Change our first color to white and choose the ellipse select and just make a nice ellipse over the uh, Over the text. This is going to be our gloss 
Then we are actually going to fill this with white. Uh, and we're going to hide these two layers. Right click on the red layer and select merge visible layers. Press enter. Now right click on it and select alpha to selection. Then on the, on the white layer, press control I and then delete. There. Then we just lower the opacity to about 45. And uh, there. Then we have it. That's a glossy text from GIMP. Thank you guys for watching. This is GIMP Joey. And I will see you guys later.